position. I'm, I'm versatile where I can just step on the field and, and play anywhere. How many teams have you been meeting with? Uh, yesterday I had, well, the day before I had seven formal interviews and I got three today. Who did you meet with? Uh, Washington, New England, the, the Jets, Cleveland, Dallas, Detroit, and that's it so far. How's that meeting with the Cowboys? It went great. Uh, got to talk to Dan Quinn and uh, you know, he, from what it looked like, it looked like he loved me. So uh, that's that's a good sign, especially with them being so close to home. Growing up around Cowboy fans, you know, that's always been a dream. But uh, the meeting went great. Uh, we watched some of my film. Uh, I was able to learn some stuff. I was in there talking to him. So, uh, you know, hopefully we keep the, those conversations going. Yeah. Uh, well, the first year, Chris, Chris, well, not Chris Ash, but Coach PK was more of a, a quarters vision type of type of guy. So we was playing more just like soft coverage. But uh, with Chris Ash, it was more like match what we played last year, like a quarters match. So it was more like let's get hands on, let's let's get in guys' face. So it was some a, a lot of same as same as, but more I feel like more physical uh, with this past year with PK. Well, a lot. Uh, we came in together in 2018, and, and Junior was always a dog, still is. I'm, I'm actually happy to see what he's going to do at Oregon. Uh, but strong, uh, it was always uh, a big hit when we went against each other, so it was always fun. What made him so tough to the interior offensive line? You to start a bit close to 40 games for you guys. Uh, just his mental, how he came into the game. Uh, you wasn't going to be able to take him out. He wasn't going to get tired, and he was going to always go hard every play. So that was one thing that we knew about Junior. And then as far as, like, how, how smart he was, he, he knew what every offensive lineman was supposed to be doing that play. And uh, if anybody needed help, he, he was going to be that guy that you can, you can call on. Were you surprised that the Junior didn't, didn't, come, didn't come back? Like, I feel like that was a little bit surprising for some people. Like, it feels like he probably would have got his job back if he come back to Texas. Do you think that was getting back closer to home? Or, like, were you surprised about that at all? Uh, well, I felt like that was a, a junior and a, a coach sort thing. Yeah. I felt like he, he knew what was best for yeah. him in the long run. And uh, me being his friend and his brother, I, I supported him no matter what he decided to do. It was. I was able to showcase some stuff that I wasn't able to showcase throughout the season, as far as like block destruction, using my hands and uh, my long arms, and uh, showing that I can compete with some of the best players in America. What was the best player? Uh, it's really hard to name just one of them, but I feel like just being out there in general, being able to learn from uh, guys in the linebacker room and uh, just go against some of those so some of those big and talented offensive linemen that you might see go in the first round this year. Uh, that's all I can say about that. What's been some been of the easy feedback? for you in the interview process? Has it been easy for you to feel comfortable during the interview process with these teams? I know you've done a lot, you mentioned that. I have. Uh, that's one thing that you know I, I enjoy about the Senior Bowl. You was able to sit in front of all 32 teams and uh, talk to them and kind of get ready for this. And uh, especially being at Texas, you know, it's, it's cameras everywhere. The media is, you know, everywhere. So kind of having that in my background has made this process way easier. What's some of the feedback? What's some of the feedback you've been receiving in this draft process? Uh, as far as good, bad, just whatever, yeah, just any kind of feedback you've been receiving along the way. Uh, just you know, we we love your relentless effort. It's it's hard not to see you on the field. You always around the ball. You feel like uh, you bring the energy to the field. Uh, you know, it's that's kind of some of the main things I would say. As you transfer to the pro game, whether it's a three four or four three or wherever they decide to put you, what do you think about your skill set being able to fit into each of those situations? I think just my, my versatility that I bring to any defense, I feel like I'm, I'm going to fit right in no matter uh, where I, I get put uh, as far as position-wise, even that playing like a, a dime or a, a wheel linebacker, even pass rushing on third down, I feel like I'm going to fit right in. Uh, a lot. Uh, I feel like Big 12, it's a, 
it's uh, up and down every year. Like you, you really don't know who's gonna be the top dog because every team is good. You gotta come out and play, you know, every Saturday. So that's one thing I can say about the Big Twelve. You're projected to be one of the fastest linebackers in this class. Do you have the target forty time that we're gonna get to here? Uh, I'm, I'm hoping for a sub four five high so uh, high four four. How, how do you feel about the future of the Longhorns? I, I'm feeling real great. You know, I'm seeing those young guys work. I actually get to go. My pro day is March night, so I get to go see them. They just started spring ball, so I, I'm excited for them. Uh, Coach Coach Sark, he definitely got a plan, and uh, those guys trust him, and I, I'm looking forward to it. Demarion, you had a couple of nicknames in college. One was Agent Zero, one was Most can you, can you repeat? You had a couple of nicknames in college. Agent Zero was one, but the one I think most people know you as is the armband bandit with all the armbands. Do you plan on bringing that to the next level? Uh, I don't know. I, I talked to Sean Payton yesterday, and uh, I don't know if he's he going to be a fan of that, but, you know, we never know. We never know.